This episode is brought to you by the law offices of Rene A. Flores. Hashtag DWI expert. How did you meet Lalo? We met, I met Lalo on the, uh, we did like this USO tour mm -hmm. in, in, uh, with the divas. Oh overseas. yeah, it was you, Shelly, Shelly and Stephanie. Stephanie, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And so we had met, we had done, we actually did like a Grammy mixer and then we decided to take it on the road or take this little tour and then we got invited to go to Japan and Korea and to Guam. <laughs> amazing yeah Golly. yeah to go perform for the troops out there so yeah. um i think gibson sponsored it so we, wow. we took advantage of it money was good so yeah. we just decided let's do it that's amazing mm -hmm. and um was yeah, lalo playing in the band he was a drummer well we had what they call the the, the divas band mm -hmm. which consisted of of uh, gabriel zavala aj mm -hmm. percussionist um we had cuz uh bass player and of course lalo was a drummer and uh adrian on guitar and we the, also had Ro, um, Rallo, Rallo on guitar. This uh, this was about the early the early millennium somewhere around there, right? This or? was two thousand five, two thousand six. And so uh, mm -hmm. did uh, did Lalo like throw you a little drumstick from the drums? To yeah, he take he, your attention he, or something. <laughs> or <what? laughs> He's like, uh uh, it was me. <laughs> no, it was just I I think it was a meeting of the minds. We just uh -huh. had a lot in common, and I didn't realize it early on. We you know he kind of told me like who he had played with and this and that and that he had produced and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay, cool, like, okay, whatever. But it wasn't until like midway through the tour and then I remember the sergeant, cause we were traveling, we're traveling, like we're traveling into these bases, like mm -hmm. everywhere we went, we stayed in the barracks, you know, so everybody would get their own room, I remember. So they would have a roll call every morning before we'd, we'd leave. And so the sergeant, one day he said, okay, I have a couple of, do we have an ER? I'm like, yes, me. And he raised his hand, it was cause, and then I was like, well, that's weird. Like, why would he raise his hand? Well, his name is Eulalio Reina, and oh, I'm Elida Reina. Wow. <laughs> so I just thought that was trippy, you yeah. know? And I never knew. I mean, I, even though I had talked to him, I didn't. I never knew that, uh -huh. you know, his, his last name was Reina. Um, I don't know, maybe he had mentioned it, but I never paid it. I never paid attention. Mm -hmm. But what really caught my eye about Lalo is that um, he just really, he stood up for himself. I think one day we were having a rehearsal and you know we had learned you know some a lot of one of the artist songs but they didn't know like mine and one of the uh, like two of the girls the guys still weren't familiar with the music and you know he just said politely i think we need to work on their songs more because we already know these songs from this artist you know and so i was like wow because i had just talked to you know one of the divas about it like hey i think we need they need to work on ours because they don't know the songs as well mm -hmm. not their fault they just you know and so I thought, wow, that was really cool of him. Like he he stood up for himself, and I I was like, wow, it kind of took me back. Mm -hmm. And then just I think we were in Korea, we had just had a really awesome show, and we're crossing a bridge that lights up beautiful, like beautifully, and like all these multicolors. And uh, we're heading into Seoul, Korea, and all of a sudden somebody's jamming La Mafia in the bus, and I'm like, who the hell is that? I'm looking around, and well, it was Lalo. <laughs> So I was like, wow, okay. wow, now I'm really digging yeah. this because I e love, R uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there were just a lot of little uh, coincidences, uh -huh. and I was like, so I always make jokes, you know, like, you had me at La Mafia, you know, yeah. because I, that really, like, freaked me out, Yeah, you know. And you've been together ever since. We've been together ever since, you yeah. You had kids and. Yeah, with Layla. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you lived in Mercedes, Westlaco. And yeah, Mercedes yeah. And, and mostly Westlaco. Yeah. I lived there. You plan to relocate or anything like that? or? Actually, yeah, we're getting ready to move to San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard, but um, mm -hmm. it's all over. It's all over social media. Yeah. <laughs> or so it seems well, the like. The house is for sale. Yeah, it's still it's still for yeah. sale. So if there's a buyer out there, we're, we're still looking. I mean, yeah, uh, anybody in the United States of America yeah. wants to buy Lida Reina's house. It's, it's for sale in West Laco. It's West for Laco. sale, and it's a beautiful home. And um, the reason why we're moving is to, you know, for that second, you know, just to continue that second part of our, our life and our career. Mm -hmm. And that is that. Um, 
I love what I do, you mm-hmm. know, but I think there's also another side of, of who we are that we'd like to explore, you know, on the business side. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to open a business and a successful business at that. And, okay. and I feel that that's just, you know, that's where we feel we need to be. Yeah. You know. You can't um, be, you know, you want to. I love can, the valley. And yeah. I think I'll, I'll always, this is, this is my, this is home. But um, well, the, the thing about it's like when you're in the valley, every gig is far, you yeah. know, because. <laughs> That's exactly what we, yeah, we talk and if about you're in San Antonio, I like thought Austin, una yeah. hora, I thought I'd love back unas dos tres horas, yeah. I thought Dallas, mm-hmm. I thought Houston, I thought yep. todo, verdad? Mm-hmm. And, uh, sure. and, and when you're in the valley, you got yeah. to take in a little extra time to get up there and yeah. get down and stuff so I, yeah that's what that's what i was thinking is you know because of the gigs and stuff like that but you're you're planning to open a business just like the, the salon de eventos right well I, I i plan to expand in the it's in the beauty and the fashion business mm-hmm. and why not i mean I, i'm already in it somewhat already you yeah. know with the lipsticks and everything and mm-hmm. um i think what was a big eye opener and you know was that in two weeks we sold out of our our makeup you know, I didn't, I was only going to buy a small amount thinking like, who's going to want to buy my makeup? And this is online? You do it online? Yeah. Yeah. We did it online. At and w- within two you weeks, have a we website, were sold out. Shopify. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shopify? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll post. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll have it posted. No, I'll, but I'll put it right here on the. On okay. The awesome. Um, so I just, I don't know. It just, again, it pumped me up, you know, mm-hmm. and I just feel like there's so much more um, that we can add to the, to this empire yeah this, that's I mean, what it is it is uh-huh. why not why not call it that yeah um you know we need to think you know just because i'm a tahana doesn't mean i i want to expand and you know just explore um you've other, built the name and a brand yeah that's what your name your name is a brand it, that's exactly and what, that's why a wine asked you to endorse it right that's why they asked you to go on the uso tour right that's why because your name and the music you pr- perform and yeah. you sing and you've recorded it's yeah. a big brand yeah and it's uh it's a brand that sells yeah and attracts well, <laughs> yeah it's a yeah. brand that sells and attracts i mean you said the makeups in two weeks in you- two weeks we sold out yeah. and so we had to reorder and i ordered more product and so that also sold out and so that just for me just really like inspired me to to continue yeah to to move forward and try other things and why not i mean the sky's the limit <laughs> yeah. i mean why am i going to limit myself because no. we i think we as tejanos we we belittle ourselves and even the women we we think like oh no who's going to want to you know but yeah. no you got to think positive you got to be a go-getter you you just have to um just not be scared mm-hmm. and just do it you sometimes got to go ah, ah <laughs> i gotta go hey, hey. hey. <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> so your new single you got a new single yes mm-hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about that um we have a new single called alas rotas broken wings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um it's a to me it's one of the best songs we've done since adicta mm-hmm. adicta was just did did a lot of a lot for us yeah. you know it was a big hit for us and uh it's a song written by by lalo and by juan trevino mm-hmm. uh written and arranged and so at the time so just kind of getting back to why we recorded this song was not going to be on the album but um the album was already done we were going to put out uh like a two box set the live the di- live dvd and the, and the the brand new mm-hmm. songs 12 songs but i kept telling lalo i don't know like something's missing you know like it needs something mm-hmm. you know i think we need like a good cumbia like a upbeat cumbia he's like okay so he kind of thought about it boom wrote and wrote something real quick or like came up with the melody called juan juan had it in 30 minutes i was like are you kidding me and it's not easy to write <laughs> no. i don't think it's easy to write something especially as um great as the song that adicta is i mean but sometimes some of the best songs are just written happen like, like that. that yeah it's yeah. that quick inspiration and and it just came to him just like that um and so they just started arranging it and so then it just changed the whole outlook on the rest of the album because we were kind of i'm not gonna lie we were kind of going more of that norteño mm-hmm. that norteño Which, giving it that norteño style because that's kind of where we were veering at but i feel like we were kind of losing um who we are as an artist if people already liked us and 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 our formula wasn't broken then why you know it wasn't broken so why why try to fix it yeah if it was already doing well mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying yeah um we already had a formula so we we went back to that yeah. we went back to that so well, that's awesome and alas rotas i think you're gonna like it because it's a culmination of 
it's a combination of what we're doing now, but it's taking it back to Atrevete. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of all of that. And are you with the label right now? With Freddie Records. Freddie Records. Yeah, yeah you've been Still with them with for a while, right? Yeah, for the past 13, 14 years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and you've done a lot of great collaborations with Jesse Turner, yep. with, uh, with este, Michael Grupo Salgado. Mojado, with Michael, with Jimmy. Yeah, those songs with Michael Salgado are great. Right, thank you. Yeah, those yeah. Are awesome songs. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome, Elida. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because there's still a label out there that's still, you know, with the, the current uh, industry and the way right. it is and the way it's changed because yeah. you were there with the cassettes and then right. the CDs and then now yeah. it's all streaming it's yeah. videos and uh and i mean i'm not gonna lie on, I, I sometimes yeah. they give me a cd yeah. and i'll just go to my spotify and listen to it and the yeah. cd's never open but i'd like to just collect the, the you know the product yeah uh but uh how do you how do you see the 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 industry and what's going on right now with the music business with the our genre or just the music business in, in, in general, general yeah and, well a lot of things are changing on a day-to-day -day basis because uh, you know getting back to Alas rotas um here we were you know we're concentrating on an album and really at the end of the day people don't go buy albums they're buying singles mm -hmm. you know like i just if i hear an album i'm like i'm just gonna buy that single well these is albums and believe it or not the vinyl albums are out they're selling coming, cds and back. everything else yeah, that's true yeah and then and so that is true. so um but i i i mean that's how i do it if i hear a i don't know i'm just for for example a rihanna or, or like mm -hmm. not new dixie chick song oh my gosh right now i'm like love it mm -hmm. <clears throat> that gaslighter yeah love it um but that's what i mean if i'm gonna go and i'm gonna dissect and i'm gonna take the ones i want um but we do of course want them to buy the album of mm -hmm. course you know yeah. uh no doubt but like with the way everything's changing we're kind of just taking it you know one step at a time you know like one single at a time and freddie's not really pressuring us because normally you know the way we work we put an album out every year yeah. every year every we're working hard non-stop lalo's like you know if we're not on the road he's back in the studio um you know at least i get i come home just to kind of spend time with the kids and yeah. kind of get everything going but he's back there in the studio yeah. and he's just like such a hard worker um and uh you know, you got to. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah, because, man, I mean, people don't understand. This is a, like a 24-7, almost 365-day-a-week job. You know, uh, and yeah. the Tejano industry and Norteño industry, uh, it's always been touring all year round. And then during sure. the holidays, even more. Right. Whereas, like, in the American industry, they would tour like a year and a half and then take, take a whole two years off for an album. and then, But it was never like that. Yeah. But we wish you the best, Elida. Well, and I really you. appreciate you uh, coming on to my show. Uh, hashtag you. PVT. <laughs> and uh, if you need a salon, uh, an event center here in uh, Mercedes, Texas, yes, and definitely. La Casa de Reina is right here. And we'll leave all the information sure. right down there in the description, her website, her makeup, and all the links to her social media so you can make sure and follow her and support her. Because you're going to be in San Antonio, but you're going to be right here on our phone all the time. Awesome. No problem, right? Yes, definitely. All right. Elida Thanks, Reina, Rock. hashtag PVT. Susta me want tan. <laughs> This episode was brought to you by the Law Offices of René A. Flores, hashtag DWI expert.